Who felt that earthquake this morning? Whoa. So I'm in New York, Southern New York. I'm about two hours north of the city. And wow, around 10.30 this morning, um, I was prepping for this purse sale. It actually would have been cool if I was recording this purse sale when it happened so I can get it on film. But I was prepping the purse sale. I was walking from my dining room to into the kitchen and I literally stopped in my tracks when my whole house started shaking. And I'm like, what the heck is that? I turned around, looked into my living room where I have like all these plants. I could actually show you. You're gonna see the purses from, <sighs> purses from Wednesday night, but all these plants in the corner here, I was looking at them and they're all shaking. They're like, I'm like, oh my gosh. So I ran to all the windows. There's no big truck around. They're not doing construction on the lot next door yet. It's just like an empty lot now. So I'm like, oh my gosh, that was an earthquake. So it was, it was out of, it happened in Lebanon, New Jersey, which is about two hours west of me. And I think, and um, it was a 4.8, a little scary. Um, Dallas was fine, he didn't, really react to it at all. Um, Kyle, I called Kyle at work. He didn't even feel it. <laughs> he was inside an ambulance fixing it though, because as you guys know, or maybe you don't know, he is a, he's the director of fleet for um, a really big ambulance company um, that actually is all over the US now. Um, so he was inside an ambulance fixing it um, like or like organizing whatever it doesn't matter um, so he didn't even feel it um, I hope everybody's okay um, if they felt it too let me know in the comments um, what did it feel like for you um, did you feel it at all um, in my international viewers I don't know if you would have been if you would have felt it but let me know um, that's pretty crazy. I've only felt one other earthquake and that was actually before my office job, my my doctor office job that I left to do this. I worked insurance, I did health insurance. Can I roll my eyes hard enough? I felt one there where I was working and the, and the walls were shaking. A picture actually fell off the wall. But that had to be at least 12 years ago, at least. Um, so really crazy. Let me know in the comments if you felt it, how, what it felt like for you. Was it the first time you've ever felt an earthquake? Obviously, I think if you're on the West Coast, you're going to feel more earthquakes than us over here on the East Coast. But let me know. Let's get into it. It is Purse Sale Friday, you guys. I am Kristen with another chance resale. I am a full-time reseller and it is Purse Sale Friday. Now, I'm working on possibly changing my ordering process for you guys because the amount of people that don't follow ordering instructions is overwhelming. So I understand it may be difficult for some of you to follow the instructions. Maybe you don't understand them or maybe you just don't care, or maybe you're just not reading them and you're fast forwarding. I don't know what the situation is, but I think I might be changing how I do my ordering or how I should say you are doing your ordering. Um, so stay tuned with that. It may be something um, a little more similar to what you're already doing, or I have an idea that's going to be completely different. So um, it'll be easier for both you and me. Um, so I'm kind of tossing around some ideas. Um, I'm probably gonna do a video about it, maybe have you guys do a vote or something like that. Um, but anyway, this, this haul is not a very big haul. So I'm going to be unboxing two America's Thrift Supply um, five-piece brand name purse boxes today 
to try to make up for the lack of thrifted purses. I do have a handful of shoes, but we're gonna get into it and we're gonna have some fun. And I'm gonna put up the ordering instructions on the screen. I'm going to put the ordering instructions up on the screen numerous times throughout the video. So please follow those instructions. Um, I will only go over the sold list part of it. Everything else you guys are on your own for. Okay, so the sold list. That is literally the most important part of my videos and my sales is to make sure you're checking that sold list. I take a lot of time to create this sold list and keep up with it with every sale that's made so you guys can see what is selling so you don't have to ask me and we can go back and forth in emails a million times over. You can just check that list in the comment section and you'll know if something's available or if what you're looking for is available or not. So when you're done watching the video, you have to refresh it. What does that mean? Go out of the video, come back into it, like click out of the video and come back in and that will refresh. Or if you're on a tablet, phone or computer, there will be a, an, <laughs> that's Dallas, there'll be an arrow like in a circle and that will be the refresh button. So you just press that and it will bloop, refresh the page. It will do a little, you know, blank and then it, the screen will come back up and it will be refreshed. You can do that as many times as you want so you can see me updating that sold list as things are selling. I will have a pending payment list. So the first thing that you're gonna see in the beginning of this sale, like at the earliest times, like at 4 p.m. when this is launching, it'll be just a pending payment list which means I sent out an invoice to somebody and I'm waiting for payment. Once that is paid, it gets switched to the sold list, okay? It's all one list in the comment section. It'll be the very first comment in the comment section, which is under the video, okay? Just scroll up. All right, so everything else is explained on that slide that you just saw describing my ordering instructions. All right, let's get into it. We have the clearance section up first. So that means these are the purses from last week that didn't sell. We're gonna drop the price a little bit and try to get them a new home this week. So first up, we have Henry Bendel. I'm shocked that this didn't sell. Henry Bendel does not produce handbags or anything anymore. So anything that's out on the market, that's it. This is a very large, as you can see, tote shoulder bag. It is a like gold nylon. It's not like metallic gold, it, but it's like a muted gold nylon with the leather snake print. Um, it has the large silver tone hang tag. It is in excellent condition all the way around. Handles are excellent. They are a longer double shoulder strap. You have a closure, which is this little clippy thing, if you would like. The inside is one large compartment. You have your beautiful little hang tag right there, Henry Bendel, with your zipper pocket. And your slips are on this side. Clean interior, clean exterior. Excellent condition, Henry Bendel, large tote, $65. What are you growling at, mister? Hmm? Okay, next up we have the Furla. This is the black Safiano leather handbag. It is in really nice condition. You have the beautiful gold tone Furla hang tag. You have the Furla on the front here, back, sides, corners, everything is in really nice condition. Okay, handles are excellent. It is a medium to large um, tote handbag. You have a middle zippered section. We'll start with the back. The back section, there's still a little fuzzies down there from the paper. The back section has your Furla branding with your zipper pocket and it says Furla on all of the um, fabric. There's just some pieces of the paper down there. 
And then you have your middle zip section, and then you have the front section, which has your slip pockets, okay? Um, this does have, it really doesn't. It did have loops for a shoulder or crossbody strap, but this loop is busted. So just keep that in mind. You can probably hang it on th these straps if you really wanted to. Um, but we're gonna drop this down to $60 for the furla. That's a really good price for furla. All right, then we had the Kathy Van Zeeland. This is faux leather shoulder bag. Kathy Van Zeeland married to B. Mikowski. I don't know about anymore, but um, so you have the brown and gold sparkle. This is like, um, like a fabric, like a very soft fabric, almost like a micro suede. Then you have the gold faux leather, the beige faux leather. It's more like a silver. And then you have the gold studs on the bottom and corners as well. I mean, just on the sides, but the bottom and corners are in really good condition. There's the back with a zipper pocket. You have a nice chunky shoulder strap with gold tone hardware. That's in excellent condition. You have your little purse hang tag on the um, zipper pull. And then it is one section on the inside. And you have your zip pocket with your branding and your slip pockets. And it is very clean on the interior. So you have the Kathy Van Zeeland, and we're gonna drop this down to only $20, you guys, 20 bucks. Next up, we had the Michael Kors Camo. I love this bag, it's just too big for me. I really, really love it so much, but it's just like double the size that I like. Um, you have the really nice gold tone hardware um, hang tag. It is a very soft leather. It's kind of got almost like a, kind of like a pebbling to it, but not really. Uh, minor, minor, minor wear to the corners, hardly anything. Where's the other strap? Here it is. Okay, minor thing, minor wear, seriously nothing major. Just a little, little, little bit of rub. Excellent condition otherwise. Handles are in beautiful condition with the leather. The hardware is in beautiful condition. So it is a handbag or a shoulder bag. The strap does not adjust, but it does remove. The bags are falling on me. Um, you have the Michael Kors on the zipper pull here it's like a it's like a little mini duffel bag duffel bag satchel i hate when the paper rips because then i get these small little all right you're going over there because you keep falling on me i hate when i rip the paper because then i get all the little pieces everywhere so i try not to rip it okay so the inside of this is clean. There's just some fuzzies from the paper. You have your branding. It is a Michael by Michael Kors. Zip and slips and more slips over there. All right, so excellent condition. Minor teeny itty bitty bit of rub on the corners. And we're gonna drop this one down to 60 for the leather camo. Uh, Michael Kors, it's like a tri it's like a beigey brown situation, okay? All right, then we had the Michael Kors black little satchel. Actually, it's kind of a big satchel. I would say medium to large. Um, black nylon, black croc patent leather, gold tone hardware. You have your hang tag here. It's more of like a, a matte gold tone. You also have Michael Kors on the front. You have a zipper pocket on the front. Nice hardware on the corners. You have a pocket on the back. Excellent condition on this one. It is just a handbag. Um, you can probably fit, you can fit it under your arm, but it's a little snug. And then the handles are in excellent condition. 
zipper on the top, one compartment on the inside, and you have your Michael by Michael Kors zip and slips and more slips on the other side. Clean interior, excellent exterior, uh, Michael Kors black on black, $40. Next up, we had the Denim & Co. Denim Tote. This is a tote shoulder bag. I didn't stuff it all the way because I was running out of paper. But um, it is super cute. It's a large tote. It is denim. It has a really cool pocket here on the front. It is in excellent condition. Longer double shoulder straps. Snap closure, there's your Denim & Co. It is 100% cotton. One section on the inside. See, like that's what happens when I start, when it rips on accident. Like, what am I gonna do with this? <laughs> and then the inside has no pockets, but it's in excellent condition, super cute. Denim is all the rage this year. Um, so you can grab this cute little tote for your thrifting or flea marketing or festival or farm marketing so or just for every day and we're gonna drop this down to only $15 you guys then we had the only littles we had left was the Justin wallet this is a like um, cowboy boot company um, I, I do think it is leather, I, but I don't think it has a tag or anything on it, so I can't confirm that, but it is a wristlet. This does come off to make it a just a, a wallet. There's your Justin logo on your hardware. This is like a metal concho, um, a little bit of lace detail. You got some rhinestones on there. Okay, so this one, um, I think it had, okay, so it had a couple little dings right here. Um, and then on the inside, it had a couple little marks. It had some indents right here from the zipper, from this zipper on each side. Okay, so it just has some indents in the leather from this zipper pocket. Okay, and then it had a couple little marks in here. Actually, not on this side, it's just here. Okay. So not terrible, oh, wrong side. So we're gonna drop this one down to only $8 if anybody's interested, okay? Oops. Okay, so that wraps up the clearance section. Let's show the ordering instructions again and then we will, we will continue on with the thrifted purse section. Okay guys, so remember to check the sold list, refresh the video after you're done watching it so you can see the most up-to-date list. Go out of the video, come back in, or press the um, round reset button on your screen. It's not on the keyboard, it's on the screen. Um, it's, a, it's like a circle, it's like a arrow in a circle. Um, and keep in mind, you may have somebody that emailed me before you that asked for the purse that you're looking for, okay? So just keep that in mind and payment is due immediately, okay? So that I don't have like a waiting period or anything because there's so many people that want the same bag and either don't check the sold list or they emails just get in before their email. Um, I will move on to the next person if I don't receive payment right away. Okay, if a payment Issue does come up though, I do allow 48 hours to pay, but you have to let me know. You have to email me, you have to be in communication. You can't just ghost on me, okay? All right, so first up, we have this really cool bag. You guys will never believe who made it. It is black leather. Look at this like faux tortoise shell on it. Isn't this the coolest bag? This is by Talbots. So this is a black leather handbag, or probably could be crossbody because it can go another probably four inches. So I would say crossbody, shoulder bag, handbag. Beautiful black leather, gold tone hardware. 
Um, you have this awesome little turn lock in the front that opens up a pocket in the front right here. The bottom and corners are in really excellent condition. I, I conditioned it super nice for you guys. Got some fuzzes stuck to the conditioner because it hasn't um, completely absorbed in yet. All right, so really, really beautiful. Handles are beautiful. Um, you can detach the shoulder and crossbody strap if you would like. The inside has three sections. Okay, so this side, it will start at the back. This side has a snap closure with your Talbots. Hold on. So I can bring it out of the bag with your Talbots, okay? And your, your zipper pocket. Then you have the middle zip section, which is your main compartment and largest compartment. There are some pen stains down there and on the wall here. Not terrible, just a few. And then you have the front section, which is a snap closure, just like the back. And you have your slip pockets, okay? And that section has a little, couple little stains down at the bottom, nothing serious, like teeny tiny, okay? So three compartments with a, the strap keeps getting stuck on my notebook. <laughs> um, three compartments with a front pocket really beautiful leather black leather talbots and we're going to do this one for 48 dollars okay next up we have a beautiful brown bag by brooks brothers absolutely gorgeous i don't have enough stuffing in that corner um, absolutely gorgeous brown dark brown pebbled leather with the lighter brown croc embossed leather you have the Brooks Brothers logo on all of the hardware, okay? You have it on the zipper pulls as well. It even has the croc on the edges. Excellent condition. Feet. Okay, um, and then, uh, so it's the same on both sides. Handles are beautiful, kind of like a longer Okay, double shoulder strap. It is a small to medium purse. Um, it is a nice, like, structured zipper on the top. And the inside is one compartment. Okay, there's your Brooks Brothers with your zipper pocket. That says genuine leather and your slip pockets. All right, beautiful interior, beautiful dual tone brown exterior, Brooks Brothers, super classy and classic, 50, five zero. Next up, we have this beautiful Lily Pulitzer. Lily Pulitzer, um, it's like a beigey tan pebbled leather shoulder bag with gold tone hardware this beautiful bright blue tassel. It has a shoulder strap of gold tone metal and tur um, I almost said turquoise, faux tortoise shell. You can change this out because it does unclip and you could even put a really pretty um, like guitar strap, crossbody strap, like a really bright color that would match the blue. That would be really cool. Um, if you wanted me to source one for you, let me know in an email. Um, but it's in really beautiful condition. Corners are beautiful. Um, the top opens up with the magnet. You have the zippered flap on the top that goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. And in there is where you have your branding there with the leather the leather um, piece, and then you have a zipper pocket down there as well. Then you have this section here, which has no pockets, okay? Really excellent condition, beautiful summer bag. I feel like Lily Pulitzer is like the epitome of summer. So really cute, love this one, and we're gonna do this one for $45.
Okay, then we have a red leather Bagley Mishka. Look at how awesome this bag is. Let's get it all in one shot here. Look at how awesome this bag is. Here is your um, hang tag. Beautiful gold tone hardware, beautiful bright red leather. Look at the um, big gold tone hardware on the handle. This is a crossbody bag. You can adjust it a little bit in either direction, but it's going to stay a crossbody bag. Excellent condition on the strap. You do have a little bit of scratching on the plate here. The back has a nice pocket. You do have maybe a little mark here and here. Bottom and corners are great. Um, the top here, so the front here, you're gonna lift this up, open like so. You have a back section. There are a few scratches like on the back of this part right here. The inside here has your bag Limishka with your zipper pocket. And then you have this front section. All right, you are good to go with the phone, no problem. And we are going to close her up like so. Beautiful Bagley Mishka, love this one. And we're gonna do this one for $48. Okay, we're gonna put you right there. Okay, then we have, so I thought this one was really cool. I've never heard of the brand. It is, I just dropped one, hold on. It is handmade in Brazil, I think. I'll check in a second. Handmade in Brazil, it's by a company called Menendez Castellaro. Menendez Castellaro. It is a crossbody bag. You can adjust it to here. It'll be a little bit longer of a shoulder bag, but you can wear it as a shoulder bag. Look at this cool bag. So this is, um, this is probably, this looks like it might be horn. I was gonna say mother of pearl, but there's no iridescence to it and it kind of has the striations like horn. And then you have this really pretty suede, brown, dark brown leather. The strap is a nice thick dark brown leather with the raw suede on the back absolutely beautiful handmade you guys okay so you're gonna lift up the top here all that suede obviously with some fuzzies so right here it says menendez castellaro um hecho a hecho a mano which is handmade made by hand okay and then you have the inside Left my tag in there. Inside has a zipper pocket and then this back section. I think it's Brazil. It's either Brazil or Colombia. I'm pretty sure it's Brazil though. So for the Ca uh, Menendez Castellaro, we're gonna do 45. Start putting you guys over here. Okay, so next up, I have another bag by Bed Stew. This company is very expensive if you look up bed stew b-e-d-s-t-u their stuff used is so expensive um this is and they do like a distressed leather so it is a crossbody or shoulder bag you can adjust it it has like antiqued gold tone hardware okay it's all the beautiful fringe very very distressed okay there's your Branding, what does it say? Genuine, <laughs> genuine, unique, imperfect. That's what that says. All right, so it is in really nice condition. It just is um, distressed. You have a nice big zipper pull. Dallas, I don't see anybody. And then here is the inside. There's your zipper pull and it's all the raw suede. Absolutely stunning. 
The other one that I had shown that nobody bought, I have it listed for $100, okay, you guys? These with the fringe is actually more expensive. Um, is there a pocket under here? No, no pocket. Um, these are going for over $100, you guys, on eBay and Posh. So I will bring this to you for $75. I will probably bring it next week, but it's not going to drop much lower because I can list this right now for about $120. All right, so grab it while you can. You guys get the deals. Bed stew, $75. Otherwise, I might drop it to maybe $70 next week. And then it's going up for 120 on online, okay? So bed stew, 75. All right, then we have Lucky Brand. We have a really cute black leather crossbody bag by Lucky Brand. It's definitely gonna stay a crossbody bag. It can be a wristlet because the strap does remove. It adjusts and removes. This also comes off, so you don't have to have the um, wristlet strap on it. Lucky Brand right there on the front. Beautiful black leather. If you guys know Lucky Brand, you'll know the leather is always awesome. Um, back pocket. Front on um, silver tone hardware. Here's the front here. You can um, take out the strap, like I said. Use it as a wristlet if you want. Um, it has a main section with card slots and a slip pocket and then you have this zippered section here in the front okay my big old phone does fit even with the pop socket okay you guys so really cute lucky brand black leather crossbody or wristlet $28. All right, next up we have um, Hobo International. This is brand new with the tag. This is so cute. So it is a crossbody bag. You cannot adjust the strap and you cannot remove it. So if you need a measurement, let me know. I... Um, Conditioned this because it was so dry, so dry. Um, so that's one side of it. It has these beautiful gold tone studs. You have a pocket on one side of it. More studs. There are a few, like, see these little marks? But, you know, you can't really see it. Or you can just have it this way. The, um... You got the little hobo right there. Um, there's the bottom. And it opens really cool. See that zipper? So you're going to open it up like that. There's your interior. So you have your hobo with your zipper and your card slots. Phone fits, no problem. Um, this is... $138 on the price tag. Insane. I will offer this to you guys for $40. $40 Hobo International Purple Leather Crossbody. Next up, we have a brand new with tag also by Pampa Rosa. I had one of these bags a long time ago and I found another one. So this is a crossbody bag. You cannot adjust it or remove it. Oh no, you can, you can remove it, you can't adjust it. It has beige leather and it has a gold leather top handle. It is a fabric bucket bag. It's kind of like this off white color with like a dark gray pattern and then like amber colored um, rhinestones. You have these beautiful, it's like these gorgeous, almost like curtain ribbon, um, beautiful in like a gold yellow. That is the drawstring on the bag. Okay, here's your tag. This brand is made in Colombia. Okay, they're, they're handmade in Colombia. Um, 
let me go over the whole thing. It is in new condition as well as being new with tag. The only closure on it is that drawstring, okay? And then the inside, you have your branding and a zipper pocket. So these are currently listed on their website for $100 and over. And I will bring this to you for $50. Five zero, super cute, super pretty. I love it. You can tie these if you want, whatever you would like. Um, so $50 on the Pampa Rosa. Um, all right, next up we have, we're up here now. So the first one is a, I have a few B. Mikowskis. Yeah, that's the public safety alert, New York State Emergency Management. Earthquake occurred in New Jersey. Aftershocks may occur. Yeah, I heard, I heard you can feel an aftershock up to a few weeks after the actual earthquake. That's so crazy. So crazy. Okay. Maybe I can get that on film. <laughs> All right. Anyway, here is the first B. Mikowski. This is a very small compared to what they usually make and very lightweight compared to what they usually make. So this is B. Mikowski, again, another brand that they do not make anymore. These are not in production anymore, this brand. This is a beautiful black leather um, purse. You have a, let me fix the, there we go. You have a top handle or you have the shoulder strap. I do not think it can be a crossbody. Maybe, maybe if you're short enough, I think it's a little, let me see. Actually, no, it hits me at the, at the hip. It hits me at the hip, so it can be a crossbody. It can be removed also, but the top strap cannot be removed. You have two functioning pockets here on the front, and you do have B. Mikowski on the zipper pulls, so both of those pockets are functioning. You have a slip pocket in the back, like the brand usually does. Um, um, excellent condition, bottom and corners. Zipper closure on the top. And one section on the inside and you have your branding with your zipper pocket and your slips. Clean interior, clean exterior. B. Mikowski, this is the smaller black one and it's going to be $45. Then I have a large black one, which is right here. This one is a much larger black leather shoulder bag. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at all this ruching in here. Nice big hardware on the front, dual tone, gold and silver tone with the B. Mikowski here. You do have a functioning pocket here in the front. Love the stitching. You got some pull on the side here. Very cute. Um, there's the side. Corners are excellent. Back has your signature little pouch pocket, longer shoulder straps, double shoulder straps, silver tone hardware on the straps. The interior is a snap, I mean, magnet closure. This one does have a middle zip section. So the back section here is where your branding zip and slips are. Then you have the middle zip section. Then you have, oh, it comes with, forgot to mention, it comes with the dust bag. And this side has no pockets. Excellent condition all the way around. I mean, it might be new without the tag. I'm not sure, not sure on that, but it is in very excellent condition. So we have the larger black leather B. Mikowski shoulder bag for $50, five zero. Next up, we have a beige B. Mikowski. This one is kind of like <clears throat> what they would call a warm beige, um, where it kind of has almost like a blush hue to it. So it's like a blushy 
beige, but more on the blush side, if that makes sense. Um, more on the beige side, if that makes sense. Is that what I said? I just got distracted because I saw the <coughs> mail lady. Oh no, FedEx is here. So, all right, hang on guys. So let's keep going. And we got the warm beige leather B. Mikowski shoulder bag. Beautifully soft leather, functioning zipper pockets here on the front. Little pouch pocket here. Beautiful gold tone hardware with B. Mikowski. Signature pouch pocket on the back. Little teeny pockets on the corners. Um, these corners are great. There was one corner I think had a little bit. This front corner had a itty bitty little bit of rub. Nothing serious, but you guys know me, I like to point out as much as I can. The back I think had, okay, so it had It has like a little bit of transfer, if you guys can see it right in here. It's like a little bit red or pink. Um, okay, so then the front has a teeny little mark right there. And then the handles are great. Longer double handles. Nice big zipper pull. You have the one section on the inside. Zip, slips, branding, nothing. So, couple little things going on with this one, but you honestly can't really notice any of it. Um, so, we're gonna just do this one for, we're gonna do it for 48, 48. All right, then we have um, a Dooney and Burke, this guy right here. I did buy this one for myself, but I have yet to use it and I don't really think it's really my cup of tea. So I'm going to sell it, even though now that I'm looking at it, it is really stinking cute, but I've had it for like a couple months and I have not reached for it. So I'm going to let it go to make room for others. So it is a really beautiful Dooney and Burke. It's, this is like a, a green, like a green, blue but more on the green croc embossed leather dark brown leather detailing gold tone plate here a little fingerprinty it does have the crossbody strap it is adjustable but will stay crossbody actually no wait it can go that short so a longer shoulder bag crossbody it does remove it is in excellent condition very, very minor, if any at all, wear to the corners, maybe a teeny little bit. Okay, but other than that, handles are beautiful. Okay, then the inside, you got a nice big zipper pull. And your inside is one compartment. You have your little key fob. Oop, almost dropped it. Dooney and Burke here, zipper and slip there. More slips there. You got some fuzzies down there from my paper. And there is a little bit of staining in that corner there. Um, and then you have your um, serial number right there. So super cute little guy, love this one. I just, I'm just not reaching for it. So we're gonna do this one. It's like a green with a little hue of blue. Uh, Fifty dollars, five zero on the Dooney. Um, we'll put you, put you over here. Okay, we have this one now. This one is so pretty. This is another new with tag. This is by Christian Lacroix. Okay, I did look that up and I made sure to say it right. Christian Lacroix. This is $108 on the tag. It is faux leather. It is a crossbody or longer shoulder bag. It is brown faux leather with the CL Christian Lacroix. Um, beautiful 
florals around the front. I love the shape of this. It is a rounded bag. You have the florals on the back. I love that, it's so pretty. It is new with tag and in new condition. Silver tone hardware, zips almost all the way around. It does have the little like accordion on the side so your stuff's not gonna like fly out of it. Then you have your branding, Christian Lacroix. Zip and slip. No problem with the phone. Beautiful for the spring. Right into the fall with this one, that's for sure. New tag, Christian Lacroix, and that's spelt L-A-C-R-O-I-X. 108 on the price tag, $45 for you guys. Next up, we have a beautiful The Sack shoulder bag. This is a strict shoulder bag. You have the tassel right here. You have two functioning pockets, zipper pockets on the front. You have a pouch pocket on the front. You have a side pocket on each side. This is a black leather shoulder bag pocket on the back. So you have pockets all the way around on this guy, okay? <laughs> Excellent condition, bottom and corners. Excellent condition on the strap. It does not adjust or remove. Strict shoulder bag. Zippered, um, uh, zippered closure. And then, oh, little fuzzies. Then you have your branding leather. Zipper pocket, slip behind it, slips on that side. Very clean on the inside and the outside. Excellent condition all the way around. Um, the sack shoulder bag, black leather, $40, $40. Next up we have a large Kate Spade. This is probably going to be a handbag. It does fit under the arm, but it's a little snug, but it does fit there. Um, it is a nice, large, black leather Kate Spade. You have the gold tone hardware. The leather is kind of pebbled and like a shiny black leather. It's not glitter or anything. It just has a sheen to it. You have a turn lock. It says Kate Spade turn lock pocket here. Okay, really great condition all the way around. Bottom and corners, just got a little fuzzies. Okay, bottom and corners are great. Handles are great, double handles, gold tone hardware, like I said, zipper closure on the top. One compartment on the inside. Hi, Dallas. Um, you have a zipper pocket there with the branding. You have a little mark there. Uh, slip pockets and interior. So the interior has a little bit of staining on the bottom. It's not serious. It's like right over there in that corner. And then you have a couple marks, a couple blue marks like right in here, there and in here, okay? So beautiful black Leather Kate Spade, $65. Um, let me pause the video. I'm going to shut the door and because Dallas just came in and I'm going to put up the ordering instructions. Make sure you're checking the sold list, okay, guys? You'll know if something's available if you check the list. All right. So up next we have, I have two bags by this brand. These are both brand new with tag that I'm gonna show you. They're by a brand called Chaos. And it says your Chaos handbag is made of upcycled leather fragments from the production cycle. Not only does this make every Chaos bag unique, but 
It reduces waste for a better environment. So they are leather. This one has a shoulder strap or a crossbody strap that is removable and adjustable. Gold tone hardware. You have this green and black patent leather croc with the brown canvas on the back. This strap has like a gold snake, snake patent leather with the brown canvas on the back. You have beautiful red leather croc embossed with all of these really pretty colorful patent leather embossed leather. And then the back is very similar. You have a zipper pocket on the back. Both of these bags I'm gonna be showing is um, are new with tag and in new condition. The top has a zipper closure. The inside has a zipper pocket, a slip pocket, branding zipper pocket, slips. All right, so really unique and it's made from, you know, other parts from the production. Um, so very awesome, Chaos. This one is the Striped Patent Leather. So Striped Patent Leather Chaos is $40. Then we have this beaut. This one is also by Chaos. This is leather though. So this is leather, same deal, made with you know parts of other um, pieces of leather from the production. This one is a shoulder or crossbody. This um, strap cannot remove though. And you have like a dual leather, okay? And then gold tone hardware. And then you have all these really pretty leather flowers with clear rhinestones. Okay, again, it's all leather. It's all new with tag and in new condition. And mm, it smells like such beautiful leather. <laughs> then you have the inside zipper closure on the top. And same deal. So you got the zipper pocket slip branding, zipper pocket slips. New with tag, new condition, chaos. And this one is the leather flower, okay? Or flower leather purse. And this one is 50, five zero. All right, then we have, I love this one, you guys. Look at this super duper neon pink Amy Kestenberg. So this is a crossbody bag. It can adjust, but it will stay a crossbody. Um, Gunmetal hardware. This is in new condition without the tag. So new without the tag. Look at this cute little handle. So this is like a phone crossbody bag. You have a little pocket on the back. It says Amy Kestenberg right there on the back. Excellent condition all the way around. This also says Amy Kestenberg and this is a pocket. I'm not sure what you would really put in there, but. And then you have beautiful tassel opens up the interior and there's nothing on the interior. Phone fits, no problem with room to put a wallet and keys. So for the neon pink leather, Amy Kestenberg crossbody, $35. Then we have um, a bagalini. This is the same deal. It's like it's ha it's um, like a phone crossbody or shoulder bag. This one can adjust to be both. Okay, shoulder or crossbody. Silver tone hardware bagalini. This one is a nylon purple and black and black faux leather. You have a little card slot on the back. This one's also in new condition without the tag. This one also does not have anything on the inside. This one I might have to, I would have to take off the pop. Oh no, I can. It does fit with my pop socket. And it closes, but I would probably take off my case and my pop socket. I have a big 13 Pro Max iPhone, but it does fit as is, okay? 
but if you needed more room for other things, I would take the case and pop socket off. So for the Bagalini, we're gonna do 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Then we have um, the sack. This is kind of like a wallet on a chain. It is a shoulder or crossbody adjustable. It is a, is it silver or gold? I think, see, I always do this to myself. I think it's gold. It's like, it's like a light gold to where it'll pass for silver. How about that? <laughs> it is in very good condition. It has silver tone hardware. This front section here or the back section, you can fit a phone. Again, I would take off the pop socket so it'll fit better, but it does fit, okay? Um, again, I would take off the, the pop socket and the case maybe. And then the inside you unzip. It does have a wristlet strap if you wanna make it a wristlet. And then your inside you have all the leather. Now I can't get it to fit right. Leather card slots, black leather card slots, um, zipper pocket, more card slots. All right, so phone will fit, metallic leather, the sack wallet on a chain, $25. Okay, this next bag can be unisex for sure. I think a man can carry this, no problem. This is another one, so I, I put this one at the end even though it's a Hobo International, I should have put it with the purple one, but I'm gonna put like go into the littles with this one and I have some men's stuff some men's wallets too. So I definitely think a man can carry this bag if you want a Merce or a man bag, however you wanna call it. It is, it is a crossbody bag, it can only adjust longer. It is leather, it is by Hobo International, and it is this like, like brick red color. It's very beautiful, very nice. If you guys know Hobo International, you know that the leather is really nice. A lot of pockets, so you have a zipper pocket here on the back. Excellent condition. You have two of these pouch pockets on the front. You have this little key fob if you wanna hang like a flashlight, keychain, whatever you want on there. You have the top flap. You have a zipper pocket. On the top section here. Then you have the main compartment, which is one section. You have your Hobo International with a zipper pocket and no slips. So excellent condition inside and out. Unisex, brick red, my, oh my God. Hobo International. And we're gonna do this one for $48. I almost said Michael Kors. Okay, so we're gonna get into the littles. So let's put up the ordering instructions and we will continue. Okay, so make sure you are checking the sold list before you email me. You'll know if something's available if you check the list. All right, so first up we have two men's wallets. This one is a black leather Pierre Cardin. It is probably vintage and definitely new uh, without tag. So it is a black leather wallet. It is a bifold. There's your Pierre Cardin Boutique, Paris and New York. This part lifts up here. You can put credit cards. That's the old stock, new old stock, you know, stuff in it. You can put credit cards in here. You have um, slots here. In here you have this really cool like personal identification card. This credit card section lifts up and out if you wanna just grab it and go. And then you have a slot there still. I mean, look how nice that is. Okay, and then you have your cash section. Which has leather and then the fabric. And this is your little Pierre Cardin 
little guarantee. Really, really cool. Okay, so black leather Pierre Cardin men's wallet, and we're gonna do this for 25. Okay. Then we have a Giorgio Armani black leather. This is more of a pebbled leather men's wallet, Giorgio Armani. Other side corners and everything are this one's also in really great condition possibly never used Giorgio Armani made in Italy you have two slip pockets here here card slots okay so no cash slot this is just a card wallet these Armani wallets actually go for really expensive you have the nice suede on the inside these are going like upwards of $300 I'm not gonna do that to you guys. I'm gonna ask 45, okay? Really cool. All right, then we have a Coach wallet. This is a gray leather with gunmetal hardware. It is in excellent condition. So let's start at the back, pop it open. Okay, you have your Coach in the center there. All these are card slots cash if you want it here or like a um, checkbook if you would like and then on the top you have a zipper oh it was already open a zipper compartment if you want either cash or um, co um, coin okay so for the coach gray leather $30 then we have a Michael Kors wristlet. This is the black and gray Safiano leather. Leather, black leather wristlet strap, silver tone hardware. This is the Michael Kors collection, not Michael by Michael Kors or Kors by Michael Kors. Excellent condition. Inside you have your branding and some card slots. So really nice on this one. Michael Kors, $20. Um, okay, now we're into the shoes. So keeping up with the men's items, I'm happy to be able to find some men's items this time. These are a pair of uh, like a rubber men's slide by Coach. They are in like a dark pink, like, like mauve maybe. Okay, and they say Coach on the that one is the C is a little bit coming off these are size 11 in men's or nine and a half in women's so if you're a nine and a half in women's they will fit you but just so you know if you have a wide foot this is not going to work out for you Kyle is an 11 but he's a wide he's almost like double wide honestly um, so these these did not fit him because he got his foot in it and he was just, it was really cramped up. So if you have a wide foot, this is not gonna be for you. Um, but 11, size 11 men's, or it would fit a nine and a half for women, okay? And these are going to be $30. And they're in excellent condition. I don't really think, there's just a couple little like dark marks on them but nothing like super major. So there's those. Then we have, oh my gosh, these are so cool. So these are by a brand called Free Daz. Free Daz? Free Daz? Free Daz. F-R-E-E-D-A-Z-Z. They are handcrafted in Mexico. Look at these. These are sneakers. These are currently on their website, F-R-E-E-D-A-Z-Z, -Z. made in Mexico, handmade in Mexico. These are leather, and well, the, the inside is leather. Um, this is embroidered fabric. These are new. They are a women's size eight. Um, there is a, so where the tag was, there's a little hole right there and right there because thrift stores suck. So other than that, they're in new condition, size eight women's. These are currently on their website for $155, you guys. 
These are currently on their website for $155. I am gonna bring them to you for 45, size eight. Then we have these sandals. I love these as well. These don't have a maker. It just says that they are made in Greece. So it's like a gladiator style with the ties and it has little beads at the end. So you can probably tie it up the leg a little bit more. You have the all seeing eye on the toe here. This is all leather. These are a size 11 though. That's the only thing that stinks about that. But leather, um, you got the back zipper closure, little platform, size 11. They're probably only worn once. Really, really pretty. Size 11, made in Greece, uh, $25. Love those. And lastly, I love these too. I have a pair of Tory Burch wedges. Look at that tee, you guys. Gold tone tee, black patent leather and regular leather. Three inch, I didn't measure. I think it's three inches. Beautiful, oh my gosh. Beautiful condition. These are a size six and a half. Um, there is one little ding on the patent leather right here. Other than that, they are absolutely beautiful. Size six and a half, about a three inch wedge. Tory Birch, these are currently on eBay this style for $75. I will bring these to you for 40. Lightly used, size six and a half, $40. All right, guys, that wraps up everything. We are on to the America's Thrift Supply Box. Uh, remember, I always have a code when you're on americasthriftsupply.com and you go to check out right above where it shows you the price like your total will be the promo or discount code if you type in Kristen, you will save 15 percent on every and all of your purchases okay i don't get anything out of that all i get is to be able to use the code too <laughs> so i do that for you guys so 15 percent on all of the items on the website okay they even added like singular items on there too not just the mystery boxes so we're gonna do two today, okay? Since my haul was a little bit smaller, we're gonna do two America's Thrift Supply boxes. I did not get them at the same time, so we will go over what the dates are, and we'll see which one was better. Let's see, do they both come from the same place? Yes, they both come from the same exact address. So it's not like Goodwill where it matters where it comes from. All right, so, put that over here. All right, so with my 15% off and tax and shipping, it comes to $52.48 for five pieces, brand name per supply box. Sometimes they give you more than five if one is like doo-doo or something. Um, I ordered this one on March 29th, okay? So here's first peek. It looks like we might have a Michael Kors right there on top, which I've never gotten in one of these bags. Oh, nope, it's a Calvin Klein. <laughs> but it's a like a dark pink. It's very pretty. It feels heavy. Is there something inside of it? No. So this is actually really nice. It definitely looked like one of those Michael Kors. So it's a Calvin Klein in a dark pink. Um, I, do, I think this is just like a polyurethane pockets on both sides. There's a little spot right there. I'll try to get that out and right there. Just keep that in mind though, if it's still there, if you get it, um, corners are perfect. Corners are perfect. Got the gold tone chain on the straps. Straps are amazing. Let's look on the inside. You have a magnet closure. You have a middle zip section. Yep, we're good. So um, slip zips, 
middle zip section were clean and slips. So very clean bag, two little marks on it. I can probably get it off. Beautiful color for the spring and summer, dark pink. And let's do this one for 40. That one's really, that's a good start. All right. Here's another peak. I see a very tore up Vera Bradley. Um, this one has some birds on it and look, it's a Mickey one. Um, black and pink and white, but it's very um, discolored. <sighs> you guys can't really tell, but it's it's got a lot of dirt. The strap is discolored. Not that you can really tell, but you kind of see the difference. It's like yellowed. Um, I'm not I'm not feeling this one to sell. Um, it does have a zipper pocket, zipper here, slip there. Um, the inside does look clean. If anyone wants this, I'll just do $5 because it does have a lot of discoloration. $5 as is. All right, let's look again. So we got a fossil. Okay. Move over. So this is a red leather fossil crossbody. Um, you cannot adjust it, but you can remove it. It does have some wear on the corners. And it does have a little bit of darkening like right in here. And again, a little bit of wear on the corners. Um, I can try to fill that in. I don't know if the red I have will fix that. I can try. And the inside is a little bit dirty, but I'm pretty confident I can just wipe that down. So like along the top there, it's a little bit dirty. There's a spot there. You got a slip and you got your card slots and zip there. So not horrible. I think I can fix it up. Um... I might put in like a little clip and let you guys know if I was able to fix up the corners. So um, I will leave that up to the clip or a price on the screen information and I will let you know in that. In, in that. Okay guys, on the fossil, I gave it a complete makeover. Um, I repainted it red. Um, so, the corners are definitely much better now. You can still see a little darkening um, because, you know, it's had wear there, but it is fixed. Um, I didn't go over this, so you do see a little bit of a difference, but I'll try to buff that out for you. Um, but I mean, it came out pretty good. Otherwise, right? Yeah. And then the inside is still drying, but I did get, I did wipe it out for you. So we're good to go on this one. So um, uh, we'll just do 25 on this one. Okay, 25 on the fixed up fossil. Let's put you over there. So I remember to work on that. Next, so that's three. Next up is a very large BOC Bach. This is made by Born, but Bach is their faux leather line. So this is a faux leather shoulder bag in green and green and brown. I already see a piece of the faux leather missing right there. Um, the corner has a chunk out of it, but that's the only corner. Handles are great. The inside has the flap little closure and it has a middle zip section. The back section is good with the zipper pocket. Then you have the middle zip looks good. And then you have the, I'm just checking the pockets. Then you have slip pockets over there. So really it's not bad. Um, you have a back zipper pocket. It's just missing. I can color that in. 
but you know, so it'll blend in and so you won't really see it. So let's just do this one for $10 and I'm not gonna bring it back to next week clearance. So $10, that's it. And I'll fix it up so at least it'll blend in. $10, one shot only, okay? All right, so that was four. So I did just get five, okay? What's this one? Hadaki? I've never heard of that. It doesn't appear to be a bad bag. It's not leather. It's very interesting. Look at this. I mean, this is kind of cool. It's very like goth kind of rocker-ish. Look at that. That is really cool. So it's got the double shoulder handles, shoulder straps. Then it's got this um, shoulder strap, which is not... Oh, it is adjustable. So it can probably go into a crossbody situation. Really, really cool print. I love this print. And it's like a it's like a weird fabric. It's like it feels very durable. Um, I mean, I'm pretty impressed. I've never heard of this brand, but the hardware is cool. I mean, nothing looks wrong with it on on the outside. Let's look at the inside. It's a zipper closure. It's very large. Yeah, I mean, it's clean. The Cal the Calincom Corporation. They're based out of New Orleans. There's your pocket, zipper pocket and slips. And it's very clean on the inside. So very, very good condition. Really fun, large bag. Um, I'll look it up and I'll put a price on the screen for you. So that was pretty interesting. Really, really cool. All right, I'll take it. All right, let's see box number two. So this one, again, Kristen at checkout and you'll save 15% on americasthriftsupply.com. By the way, today, this video is the last time that you'll see this blank space because tomorrow it's getting filled in. <laughs> All right, so that this one I had ordered on March 29th. This one, March 8th. So March 8th and March 29th, and this one is, um, was it a different price? No, fifty two forty eight. Okay. Here is a top peak. Let's get the Vera out of the way. It is a large backpack. Um, it does have a little bit of fading on the corners. Nothing too major. You have a front pocket. Another one with some slips. It does have a little bit of fading, like on the straps. Um, Multicolor, you have a pocket on the sides. Let me make sure all the zippers work. Yep. Okay. And then your main compartment has big slips. So it's really not terrible. There's just a little bit of fading going on. So let's do this one for 20 bucks. All right, let's do this one. Oh, Victoria's Secret, okay. This is a black um, velour, black velour Victoria's Secret backpack. It is black faux leather on the straps with gold tone metal. It is adjustable. It, everything looks like it's in good condition on the straps. The front, you have some black rhinestones. They look like they're all there with some gold tone studs. 
You got this really cool gold tone chain on the pocket. Looks good. Then you got the main section. Let's look at the bottom. The bottom looks good. The main compartment. We're good. So you just have a um, slip pocket on the inside. Very clean, very cute. Little Victoria's Secret with little chain detail. Super cute. Let's do this one for 20 bucks. I like that one. All right, we'll do another little peek here. So that was two already. Let's get the other Vera out of here. Oh, we got a new with tag. Ooh, we got a new with tag. This one is so perfect for the spring and summer. Look at that. So it's got blue and black and all these roses. I swear there's every color in this bag. Um, this is the crossbody shoulder bag. You can adjust it. Silver, to silver tone hardware. Um, zipper pocket in the front. Slip pocket. Zip pocket in the back. Yep, so it looks like new with tag and in new condition. Oh yeah, for sure. Slip pockets in there. Beautiful. Brand new, Vera Bradley. Let's do this one for 25. My arm hurts. Ooh, Carl Lagerfeld. Awesome. You know, I, he is another one he passed. He is no longer alive, and I do not think his stuff is still in production. I don't know. Um, but I do see his stuff in stores, in thrift stores, and it is mangled. It is all jacked up. So this one does not look like it is jacked up, which is really awesome. Um, this is a Saffiano leather color block. Come on, let me fix the chain here. Okay, so it is a black and white color block. This is really nice, you guys. Gold tone hardware, you have the comfort on the straps. You can make it a shoulder bag or drop this down and make it a crossbody bag. Beautiful hardware, just needs a wipe down. You got the beige in the middle. Oh, what is all that? What is that? Is it is that the is that it peeling? It is. Damn. Yep. So that is all peeling. Man, I thought we were going to be good on this one. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. See, even that is st starting to peel. Damn. And let's look at the inside. So you got the slip, the slip here, and then two pockets with a zipper pocket. I mean, no one's going to see that. You can probably just cover it over it with some clear nail polish so it doesn't do that anymore. Man, I was all excited. So I'll just do this one for $5 as well, um, as is. I'm not going to try to fix it. So $5 on the Karl Lagerfeld. Man, yeah, that was like, man, that stinks. Okay, so last one. So that was five, two, right? One, two, three, four, five, yeah. Um, this one looks a little beat up. So what are you? Let's look at what you are first. You are leather, that's for sure. Ooh, it's a Hobo International. And I found a penny, I found a penny, I found a penny, hey, 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 hey. So that made, made it $52.47 that it cost me to, for this box. <laughs> All right, so let's look at it. It definitely needs to be conditioned, that's for sure. It is dry as a bone. Um, it is very pretty, it is brown. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to fix this. I might just be able to um, condition it and it might kind of take away some of those scratches. Um, but here's the other side. It has a pouch pocket right here. 
Oh, it is so dry. This poor baby. Look at that. You guys have to condition your bags. It, I mean, this is leather that you have to condition it because look at how dry that is, the poor thing. And there, there is ink right there, but I think once it's conditioned, it'll brighten up the brown and you probably won't even see that ink anymore. Um, handles are great. Again, they just need to be conditioned. Um, you can probably go like that with it and make it a crossbody. The inside is a snap closure. Any more money? No. So there's your hobo with your zipper pocket and slips and more slips. So I'm gonna condition this and I'll probably bring it back in a little clip to insert and let you guys see how it turned out. And I'll put, I'll give a price in that little clip video, okay? So that's gonna go over there to be fixed up too. Okay guys, here's the hobo. It looks so much better. Um, it does still have a little bit of the marks, but they are a lot less noticeable. Um, she drank a lot. She was a thirsty girl. Um, you can still see the pen mark, it's in there. But like I said, it brightened up the brown, so you can't see the pen mark as much. Um, the handles, everything now is very um, well, well conditioned, and she's good to go. Um, like I said, she still does have a little bit of the marks, but not as noticeable as before. Um, so we'll do 25 on this one. All right, so that's everything. Not the greatest boxes, March, did March have a doo-doo month at America's Thrift Supply or what? But um, we did get those two really cool. We got the cool purple one and the Calvin Klein was like spotless, almost had two little spots. Victoria's Secret was in great shape and we got a new Tag Vera. So honestly, it wasn't bad. Um, a lot of lower end items, but I can definitely still make a profit and that's all that matters. So let me know what you guys think about the box, the boxes. Did you have a favorite purse of the haul? Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, it's free. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.